I actually was an uh, administrative assistant for an insurance company and um, was a mom of four kids. And so with working full time and then coming home and having kids, that was my full time job. I was in construction. I started out um, swinging a hammer, $1.75 an hour, just trying to learn to be a carpenter. Then I built that up to my own company as a framing contractor. Anything to do with wood frame construction, man, that's what I did. I built it hundreds and hundreds of houses, apartments, duplexes, condos. Now we made the ends meet, barely. With four kids, there wasn't a whole lot to go around, but you know, we were able to maintain. We were really, really focused on trying to achieve our dream and it was just near impossible. We were just not in the right vehicle maybe, or it wasn't the right time. Maybe the, the time for that company had already come and gone. We were, what, 34 years old? 34. Yeah, we were 34 when we got introduced to network marketing and totally turned us upside down. You know, we became better parents, uh, better spouses to one another. Uh, just from the books that we read, it was a, a life-changing thing. So, like I said, God knew what he was doing. He knew we needed a lot of help and we needed to get that uh, within us so that we would be prepared for what was later gonna come down the road. We lost a daughter in 2002, car accident. She was 21 years old. Her name was Lisa. And we thought our world had ended when we lost her. She was our youngest. She was very goal-oriented and very um, motivated to succeed and she had a lot of dreams and aspirations and so I attribute that to our time that we had in those in, in network marketing at that point. It was hard at the time after Lisa died to, to, to think that we could ever have joy again and I, I don't know if it just kind of helped me to realize that the, the, the most hurtful thing that would hurt Lisa the most would have been to realize that her dad could not go on and live his life. I just went through that in my mind that we got to live strong and live big for her and in honor of her because she'd be devastated to know that, man, I just couldn't do it anymore. Or I know she's on that balcony of heaven going, you go, you go, you know. In 2007, we had already been in the company that we're currently in now for a couple of years and rock and rolling, things were going great and our CEO issued a challenge that whoever got that first was going to get an all expense paid trip to Jamaica or, or um, Cancun and I looked over at Blair and I said that's our trip. We're doing that. We're going to be the first triple diamonds in our company and uh, we went to town, went to work, working harder than ever. and. Within just a few weeks, I got devastating news that my sister Kimberly had been diagnosed with lung cancer. And it was very aggressive and it had already spread. And her prognosis was very grim. She was very supportive. She loved what I was doing with my business. And when I talked to her about it, I told her I wanted to just spend time with her and be there for her. And she um, was so adamant. She goes, are you kidding? you cannot spend time with me. This isn't about you and me. She said, this is so much bigger than that because this is what you were born to do. Within a couple of months, we reached that level of Triple Diamond and she was the first one I called. And I remember her uh, just so excited, just so excited for us. And um, a week later, she passed away after doing that. And Every time I want to give up and, you know, want to slow down, I just remember her. When the economy hit bad, I went from nine crews, nine projects, to none within about six months. And there was, there was no work, there were no jobs. And I looked at Mel one morning and I said, you know, I just, I'm just going to get in my truck and I'm going to go hit the streets and just see if I can't, you know, find a room addition or a deck to build on somebody's pool or something. And she's like, well, why? And I was like, well, I just feel like I need to be doing more. You know, at that time, I was just, I had done that for 33 years. And she said, hey, the goal was to retire you from that. And we're doing good. You're done. You want it out and you're done. 
And I was like, wow, you put it like that, okay, I guess I am, I'm done. <laughs> so it was kind of that realization. I was still, you know, still halfway in my mind. Am I still gonna have to do some of that construction work or not? We are socking away a lot of money because we're getting ready to build our dream home. A, a home that we've envisioned for years and years and years on property that we used to drive by with the kids when they were younger and we would say one of these days we're going to live on Palmer Road and we have property now on Palmer Road and we bought and paid cash for that. You know, being able to write your own ticket, you know, wherever you want to go, do whatever you want to do. You know, if, if I want to do something with the kids and take all the grandkids and do whatever we want to do, we can do that. You know, we've traveled quite a bit, been able to do some fun things as a family and um, you know it's just life is good we, we really are enjoying we're debt free we don't owe any money to anybody you know i'm driving my dream car blair's dream car was a 1975 corvette stingray bought it for him for his birthday last year actually we could go today he finally saw that car for the first time oh my gosh you know birthdays have changed too you know when you're getting vintage muscle cars for your birthday and you know weekend trips to the CEO's house in Florida just just cuz. I'm, I'm just thrilled that we get to do things like that. It's all about the time. It really is. Time is precious. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a Mimi. I am a hope broker and I am a network marketing professional. I am a father. I am a husband. I am a car enthusiast, I am a pilot, and I am a network marketing professional. My wish for you is that you will become a network marketing professional. That you will decide to go pro. Because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's, let's go, go out, out and, and tell, tell the, the world. world.